Welcome, welcome to Shadow Me Tarot. We got a new deck to unbox. I have been really looking forward to this one because it's just so unique um, in its artwork. It took me a lot to find out about it. Um, so I'm kind of excited. This is the Untamed Elemental. It is by uh, Tasia Von Rie. Tasia Van Rie, and she says, welcome to the unknown, untame yourself. Tasia Van Rie is a multidisciplinary artist based in Los Angeles, California, influenced by the wonders of the natural world. Her artwork is infused with mystical messages, otherworldly elements, eros, alchemy, and the infinite mystery of Mother Earth. All right, let's take a look. It's a very heavy duty box. This is kind of like a treasure chest box, like, or an old cigar box. When I was a kid, we used to, I like, I mean, it's not an ideal box for, for, in terms of like a deck. This is, I mean, this is the size of the box versus the size. So this goes on a bookshelf, but I don't know. Cool box, not a practical box. How's that? And this is the, book. This is the front of the book. I'll take a quick look here. It says incantations for revelation, the elements, how to use, daily meditation. It just goes right into... Okay, so um, there are no spreads in this. There are some wild cards about the art, about the artist. I want to tell you, the paper, it smells like a art studio, honest to God. It has an art, it smells like paint. <laughs> it really does. It smells like paint. Okay, so these are some interesting pictures. We'll go ahead and read one of the, um, one of the cards that comes up. Um, all right. So, can you see the elephants in this picture? I'm going to have to look long and hard at this picture, and then I have to think of all the things that I know about elephants, which is like, not a lot. Circus, mice. <laughs> so, this is going to be a difficult deck to just intuit until I get an idea of how she's utilizing colors and whatnot. But just to get us started, why don't we go ahead and read the elephant? Um... Okay, so the elephant. I'm just going to put the deck right on top of the book and we're going to read it. Maybe, maybe. Here we go. I'll just do it that way. There we go. Okay. Complexity. Elephant is a steadfast monarch, matriarch, and servant. Royal by nature, her presence is felt as the trumpets announce her determined march. She is loyal and devoted to elders and children alike and reminds us that the way we choose to exercise our power influence, influences how those around us wield theirs. A true leader, she leaves a deep footprint for others to follow so they don't lose their way. Majestic Elephant is a reminder that more than one thing can be true. She asks you to validate your wild, dynamic, creative desires while also honoring your fears. She wants you to set aside linear thinking and welcome support from your ancestors. She courts you to honor two seemingly opposing truths with the same degree of respect. Free yourself from seeing the world through a binary lens and allow the fullness of your complexity to pour forth. This radical act of self-acceptance removes the obstacles that might have once seemed unsurmountable or insurmountable. It opens the door to miracles. Most importantly, it paves the way to your wholeness. In the upright, because she's got this as balanced and imbalanced, so in the upright um, balance, it says curious, accepting, regal, and sovereign, imbalanced in the reversed, radicalized perspective, stuck in a circular thinking. Uh, to bring into balance, gift-giving, acts of service, acceptance of self and others, even if it feels unwarranted. Interesting. Interesting. So this is going to be a deck. This is like almost like a, car, a daily card pull, I almost feel like. Um, 
Um, this is probably a good one to get at the start of a reading too, right? All right, um, or a good card to pull at the start of the reading. So here's Mountain, and I'm just gonna read these. Let's see if we can get in a little closer. Whoa, that's super close. Whoa, oh, oh, can we get to two? Ooh, we got to two, so now you can really see these images. All right, so that is Elephant. Here is the Mountain. Um, I see like an all-seeing eye. I would say that this is kind of a prism from that all-seeing eye. So maybe some crystal in there. So this is definitely one. <clears throat> it's going to, the more you look at it, the more you're going to pull things and images from it. Because I think the idea behind it is really to kind of spark images in your own head where you've seen these shapes before. And we always want to look kind of in, in our head index and find associations and that's really what reading is all about anyway. Gazelle, Rose, this is very infinity sign sort of, Crystal, Root, Lynx, Peacock. Oh, that took me a minute to see it. So here's the lynx. This is the eyes. This is like a cat nose. This is a mouth here. So that just took me a minute to identify. I don't know if you can see it. So a lot of optical illusions in here. So definitely a card you're going to stare at. <laughs> this is definitely a deck you're going to have to stare at. Okay, so Peacock. Tree of Life, and I have to say that the cardstock is nice. It's kind of like a papery feel. It's not like I don't feel like the cards are gonna. Well, maybe they will stick together a little bit. We'll we'll see. Hopefully, I'll remember remember to shuffle. I always forget. All right, so this one is the Tree of Life. I wanted to spend so much time on each of these images. They're so unique. The Wolf. So there's the ears and the eyes again. Here's the nose and the mouth. Um, and kind of like a kaleidoscope in my head, I just feel like I can morph it into so many different things. Like I see sky and the nose with like water or I don't know. This is an interesting deck. Very much an interesting deck. Thunderbolt. That's a very cool card. Ladybug. And for some reason, this looks like the Two of Swords to me, right? Because I've got this figure here who's kind of like sitting in a chair and you've got like these two like swords there. But it's clearly a ladybug. Um, very interesting image. These are very, very cool images. Sun. I really feel like she put a lot of thought into it as well. I feel like this is like sowing seeds, right? Towards happiness for sun. Phoenix. I <clears throat> am not seeing the phoenix in this one. I see the tail. I mean, I, oh, maybe I'm kind of seeing it. You got to look at these a long time. Scorpion. We can see the scorpion stuff right here. Here's the tongs, and then here's the tail. Claws, not tongs. <laughs> tongs are in the kitchen. <laughs> Scorpions are not. All right, here's a lion. This one kind of reminds me of like old stocks, the where you make stuffed animals out of old socks. Here's the praying mantis. Lava. There's the mountain. Here's the chamber for the lava. And probably the um, the tubes, the lava tubes that they come down, uh, out of. We've got a bee. Um, and this almost looks like a meditative type of person here. Um, but definitely a figure here. Um, 
the interesting thing about this one too is that it feels like a martial artist here or dancer. Um, so bees mean work, like you have to work. I would think of this as a, like a mastery card. And just because I want to know now, <laughs> what does the bee say? I'm just going to do the upright. I would think that B is um, air, but it's not in the air section. Hmm, I cannot find. Oh, here we go. This is under fire. <clears throat> and the B means defiance. Um, when it's balanced, it's sustained, um, sustained focus, joyful effort, bold breakthroughs. In balance, fear of failure, barren of hope. To bring into balance, hold a boundary that protects the momentum towards your vision. Interesting. I like this deck. I mean, you're going to work a little harder with this deck until you learn the cards and you're going to use the book. You're going to, I mean, you don't have to, but you can get a lot from this deck by reading the, the book. So this one is Desert, Butterfly, Breath, Crane. Owl. All right, I do not see the, I don't see the owl. I do not see the owl. So, I mean, this has got to be like the beak. I don't know. I have to stare at that one a really long time. This one is the moth. Don't see a moth either. I mean, I suppose I can kind of sort of make this out right here. Be mothy. Oh, that would be mothy. But they kind of look air, paper airplaney. <laughs> um, good thick cardstock though. This is the eagle. The cloud. The moon. Flying fish, ray of light, star, wind, rainbow, snake, sky. Spider, Storm, Scarab, Sage, Pegasus. I see the horse head. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Not all, some, some of them you really have to look at for a long time. This is a sea star, so you can see this star. I see a heart, too. See, my immediate association with this is the planet Earth, right? <laughs> because we know it's called sea star. It's like this, this star has been plucked from the Earth with love, <laughs> beamed up to Scotty here in the spaceship <laughs> from the all-seeing eye. I joke, but I do really like this deck. Um, and that would make for a fun story, too. Manta Ray. Maybe somebody watching was beamed up or had an alien encounter. This definitely looks like a Manta Ray, though. See, I got all that alien encounter from a sea star. Okay. Sea Urchin. That's the prettiest sea urchin I've ever seen. 
He's very mirror imaged. Waterfall. Definitely feel like a choice. I feel like there's a mer person, almost like a person who's like from land or sea, right? Because you've got like these fins down here, and then you've got this figure with their hands up, almost like in a <clears throat> the old type font way of making a person put their hands up like, I don't know. Um, but to me, it almost looks like the scales, this red line here kind of like reminds me of Libra or the scales of justice, um, weighing your options, making a choice because you got two distinct mirror images of each other. Okay. Octopus. Swan. Seashell. River. Whale. <clears throat> and I just immediately got Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine here. Even though I don't think that there these either one of these figures is gender specific um, by any stretch. There is definitely some sacred geometry in these cards. Um, we've got concentric cir circles here. Um, we've got this kind of like almost like an infinity sign. It's not, but just some interesting things happening in this image. All right, this is the wave. I do feel like this would be like a good journal prompt deck. Good way of starting um, a reading. Or just kind of getting clarity on if you do any shadow work, you know, and you have to ask yourself hard questions that Sometimes you know you're not really getting to the root of, but you don't really know how to go any further. Cards are a good help for that. This one is the Divine Feminine. And the Divine Masculine. And that completes the Untamed Elemental. I don't know. I have to tell you, um, for a deck that doesn't have much information on it, they kind of resonated with me quite a bit. Just pull out a little bit so you can see. Um, I mean, they're definitely like paper, kind of like cards. Um, but they're flexible, they're easy to work with. I mean, These will be easy to break in and use like regularly for sure. Um, I really do kind of like these cards. You know, it is interesting to have cards that almost, um, these almost spark like a scene in my head, right? Um, like I can build an entire story off of just the colors that I'm seeing and the feelings that I'm feeling and, um, Maybe even get wild and out there. Um, I want to say these shuffle pretty great. The cards don't stick together. I'm going to shuffle one more time because I think I'm nearing seven and that's usually my... I'm going to do my first reading with this deck. Alright. I have no idea how many times I shuffled. You guys are troopers if you watched the whole thing and didn't fast forward. <laughs> Thank you so much. Although some of you might like the sound of it. I know I get comforted by the sound of shuffling cards. So we got, okay, so as we work with them, probably not as many cards will, will pop out. They're all upside down, so I just gotta flip my deck. There we go, this is one that just kinda like popped out. So we've got the whale here. See, that to me almost looks like a career thing, right? Like a work reading. Because um, you've got some people who are on the top and some people who are subordinates. 
But the ocean, you know, you can swim in it in any direction. Some things float. Oops. So I, I think it shuffles very nicely. I mean, I think it shuffles very nicely. So anyways, so we've got the, the whale, the desert, and the praying mantis. I'm like, this poor praying mantis and this whale are not going to survive the, de the desert. The praying mantis might survive the desert. <laughs> um, but without reading all these cards, which I'm not going to do. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of these cards. How do they resonate for you? What do you see um, in the cards? Thank you very, very much for, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day. Thanks so much for watching.